Hello everyone. How's everyone today? Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Today we're going to harvest this field of corn. And we're going to put it in the corn dryer and see if we can dry it. So we'll get started just right away. I think what we need to do is program this uh, harvester in. So if you'll bear with me just a moment, we'll generate a course and get him started. Alright, we want to go around. Uh, two passes, clockwise is fine. We want to start on the headland passes. Smooth around the corners is okay. Uh, let's give it a little more, about 9% uh, coverage, overlap. Uh, field center up and down, that's fine. Start at the current location. Starting direction automatic. Uh, we don't have any islands. We don't want him to skip rows. Just one harvester. Alright, and let's tell him to generate the course. And that looks like the course we're going to have down there. Okay. Everything here should be fine. Uh, everything's fine there. Everything's fine there. Fine there. Everything is fine there. Turn on the field and avoid the fruit. Start at the first waypoint, that's good. Let's just tell him to get busy and drive the course. And it looks like he's, he's started. So we'll let him Whew, he come off close to that blower, didn't he? That's all right. But that's what I was telling you. Everything is so jam-packed into these farms that you can't hardly get around in them. Yeah, it looks like he's doing a good job. We will let him get on around this field. He'll do two headland passes. And, uh, or let's put it this way. He's supposed to do head two headland passes. And then he'll start his up and down rows. So we'll let him do it. All right. He's about to finish his first headland pass. Everything is looking good. Okay, he'll start his second headland pass. Well, that was weird. That's what I say. Uh, course play, uh, <laughs> it does a fantastic job. Sometimes you don't know what they're doing, but they do. Uh, but this guy's going to town on this. So we'll just let him go.
All right, we'll get over here and we'll unload this guy before he gets started on that bottom side. There we go. take long and we'll have this little field done. Alright, he's going to offload before he makes the turn. Alright, we'll back up and get out of his way. And we'll let him continue on around. This is his second headland pass. So once he gets the second one done, he'll be ready to start on the up and down roads. All right, we're gonna get him offloaded. He started on his up and down roads. Everything is looking real good. When we go put this in the grain dryer, we'll have to uh, buy some propane to run the dryer and uh, get it started. So, we'll do just that when we get the truck loaded. Alright, this guy's making short work out of this field. Really doing a great job. He will have his field knocked out pretty quick. See the corn going into the header? Isn't that great? Alright, we'll let him get turned around here. Continue on. All right. We'll get this guy offloaded. We'll go over and put this in the truck. See if we can go over and put it in the grain dryer. Well, it won't take long. We'll have this field done. I must admit that these fields are awful small compared to what I'm used to doing. I'm more of a commercial uh, farmer and uh, usually whenever I enter a field it's uh, no less than no less than three or four hundred acres all the way up to 800 acres 
so yes it's uh it's a little bit different for me but we'll get this put in the truck and we'll go over and see if we can put it in the grain dryer get the grain dryer started jump out of here get in our truck go see if we can get it in the grain dryer all right It's awful tight in here, so we'll we'll see what we can do. All right, let's go around. Looking good so far. Put it in the grain dryer and then we'll jump out uh, and we'll get global company pulled up we'll have some propane delivered and see if we can't get this grain dryer started all right let's jump out let's come over here and let's see if we can get Global Company pulled up here. Alright. Uh, this is what we want. Alright. The corn dryer. Uh, we want it to auto start once we get some corn or propane. So let's click on the propane and let's say, okay, let's get the maximum amount that we can get right now. Okay. And if you heard, our grain dryer has started running. So let's get out. There you can see the steam coming off the dryer. Everything is looking good. Corn dryer is running. We're going to go back. See if we can offload this guy again. And see what we can get done. Okay. We're back over here offloading this guy again. Everything looking great. Corn dryer is drying corn. Bought propane and won't be too awful long, and we'll have this field harvested. You could automate this grain cart to where it would run on auto drive and chase this harvester. But I don't mind chasing this harvester at all. So we'll just let him continue. Okay, this guy is sure making short work out of this field. Uh, it looks like he may have two more passes and he'll have his field knocked out. That didn't take long at all. So 
We'll just let him go ahead and continue on. When we get him emptied out, uh, of course we'll put it in the truck and we'll take it up and put it in the grain dryer and have it dried also. So, if you like this content, please uh, reach down there and hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. I sure appreciate it. If you would like to see more of this content and be notified uh, whenever I uh, upload new videos, uh, just hit that sub subscribe button and you'll be notified anytime I upload new videos, new content, and uh, you won't miss out on anything. You can watch it at your convenience. So we'll let this guy go ahead and, and complete his, this field and we'll get him offloaded and get it put into the grain dryer. <coughs> All right, we're taking the last of our corn in, put it in the dryer, and we'll see what our total was off that field. The corn dryers are drying it. All right. And we'll let him empty out. And we'll see what our total is. Okay. Let's jump out. Go over here and let's pull up Global Company. And it looks like we ended up with 179,471 liters. Uh, it looks like we've got a thousand liters already dried over here. So if you look over here uh, on the overview, it says that that dryer will dry 3,000 liters an hour, which is pretty good. So as for me, the dirt road farmer, I think we'll get out of here. We'll call this a video. This is episode five. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.